Now, one of our last discussions we are going to have here for the show uh, for this week is the Atlanta Falcons announced Tuesday that they have released veteran receiver Devin Hester, the most accomplished return man in NFL history. Now, last year, it, it wasn't so much. Hester missed the first 11 games of the 2015 season as a result to a toe injury, which he had surgery in January. He did not participate in any offseason activities while recovering. Now, Falcons head coach Dan Quinn said veteran Eric Weems, which I always hated him when I played Madden. I don't know why he would always end up on my team somehow, and I just, I don't know. No disrespect to Eric Weems, but it's just kind of sucking Madden. I don't know why I always had him on my team. Like, ultimate team and stuff? Yeah. Uh, anyways, he says that he's capable of handling both kickoff and punt return duties with Hester gone. Justin Hardy, Nick Williams, and receiver Devin Fuller are also in the punt return mix while running back Tevin Coleman, uh, Fuller, and Hardy will be involved in the kick return or kickoff returns. Now, for Hester, though, a former second-round pick of the Chicago Bears holds the NFL record for return touchdowns with 20, a record that he set with the Falcons uh, against Tampa Bay Buccaneers during the 2014 season. And Hester made the Pro Bowl that year with the Falcons. Hester, again, I'm, I'm trying to give all these stats because we're leading up to something here, which you've already seen on your on your screen for people at YouTube. Hester is a four-time Pro Bowl selection overall. He holds the info record for punt return touchdowns with 14. Now, it's unclear whether Hester plans to play, but at 33 years old, his, his time's up. He's going to retire. He's, no one's going to hire him. Now, we're going to get onto it here. He was due to make $3 million in 2016 with a cap figure of $3.8 million, and the Falcons saved $3 million in cap space by releasing him. And he wasn't used on offense at all last season. Obviously, the 11 games missing hurts a lot, but he's never really been, even though he's listed as a receiver, he's never been a receiver. I mean, his best year was in 2009 when he had 57 receptions for 757 yards and three touchdowns. That's not, that's not a receiver. The yards, yeah, but... I mean, he was paid like a number one, and he didn't play like a number one. But on special teams, the greatest. I think we clearly say with the, the stats that he's given, he's the greatest returner of all time. I know there's Deion Sanders. There's a few others, but Devin Hester, I, I, I doubt we're going to have too many arguments of who's better, and I think it's Devin Hester. So that leads up to the question of, since he has the record of 20 touchdown returns, both kickoff and punt returns, is he a Hall of Famer? Is he? Are we going to give a Hall of Fame spot to a guy that just played special teams? We emphasize it so much as a coaching staff, so why not give it to him? We, we give kickers and punters Hall of Fame spots. Why not a kickoff returner? I believe Devin Hester is a Hall of Famer. Maybe not a first ballot. And it's hard to say when it gets to the first ballot things, you, it's hard to create an argument with that because it, you would have to really be like LaDainian Tomlinson. He didn't win a Super Bowl, but he's the first ballot Hall of Famer because of what he did off the field for San Diego's community and what he definitely did on the field. He's a first ballot. And to a guy for Devin Hester, it's kind of hard to say he's a first ballot because you look at his stats and you think, well, he's the best returner of all time. So, if you're the best at a certain position or a certain thing, usually you would think, okay, that's that gives him a lot of rights to say he's a first ballot, but it depends who's on the ballot that year. Because I mean if there we're getting to a lot of guys that we kinda of recognize as young young people, we kinda of recognize some of the guys who are now coming up to the retirement list or the the Hall of Fame list, and you start thinking, Well, man, those are some good receivers, good defensive ends. A good quarterback, oh, man. I don't, I don't. And you got to obviously have the old timers in there, and and that one uh, management pl guy. So you start looking like maybe Devin Hester might. And it's hard to think because it depends. It's five years from now is when he's eligible. Who's going to be eligible in tw five years? It's, I don't have the time to look at it, but I believe he is a Hall of Famer. I, it's again, it's hard to say he's the first ballot. Not that doesn't disrespect him, but it's hard to say. Uh, I wouldn't be surprised if he is, but I'm also not going to be surprised if he isn't. But I do. Be, I would be surprised if he's not in his first three years of eligibility. And, th and that's just that's stretching it. That's stretching it because, again, you don't know who's going to be eligible at that time. 
There could be a lot of good players who are eligible in five years from now and say, well, they got to get in for sure. But Devin Hester will be a Hall of Famer. It just We have to do it. We emphasize special teams so much, and it might be a dying breed here soon because the NCAA has talked about possibly cutting kickoff returns. I mean, we might not be seeing kickoff and punt returns much often here in the next you know three to five years. We got to give it to the guy who made it so special for everybody to watch, except for that opposing team when you're like, don't kick it to Hester, and he kicks it to Hester, and he's gone. We all had that fear, unless you're a Bears fan. Everybody had that fear. I believe he is. Is Devin Hester a Hall of Famer? Let me know in the comments section, and follow me on Twitter at Short Sports Show. I don't want to go,